Hello? Is this thing on? Are we back in business? Hello? Hello? We're back. We're back. <laughs> Guess your boy got a new camera. <laughs> Come on, let's go, Lena. Where are we going? T ball, T ball, T. All right, my G's, we're back at it. I did. I sh I'm trying to reverse time. I got. I'm finally gonna do what I should have done a long, long time ago, and that's what. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. Just ordered this new. Actually, I got it used, but it's. I got it super, super cheap. The G7X. I freaking the camera. Everyone. That's what I should have been using. I feel like I burned myself out by using the best. Yeah, we're gonna keep it simple. And I'm, I'm a cool girl, and I'm wearing my dad's. Well, I'm wearing my sweatshirt that my dad made. Yeah? Sicker, sicker. For so for the past couple of months, I've been uh, just trying to find, figure out like production. I guess in the last year, really. I was trying to figure out production for the clothing. And I did a bunch of research, and I feel like I've gotten to a really good point where um, I know where all my stuff's, where I want to source my stuff from, and I feel like I got a good grasp on how I want to design it, my own style, which takes forever. It takes forever to make your own style stuff. I've said this a million times before, but I'm um, at the finally the point where I'm too comfortable with where I'm at. And I realized that but the journey there was so much more fun, and I'm looking, I'm ready for on to the next. And I'm gonna continue to make clothing, continue to build our brand, and um, just move forward all in life, and kind of get back to what I used to do, and who I used to be, and what I, yeah, everything in between. What his talent is. Yeah, what my talent is, so. My talent is. What is it? Cool rock. But that comes a lot of different things I used to do and Monica kind of came to me and asked me if I'd ever get back into um, like tattooing specifically. And so he is. So I am. Make sure that <laughs> I wanted to make sure that my heart was into it. And I started doing research and starting to figure out what life, you know, how will I feel. I'm looking at the road by the way. We're, we're, we're not trying to kill people. See how I feel when when doing research, like, if, am I gonna get excited? Am I gonna get pumped up? So I started doing research and I got excited. I couldn't, I haven't been able to stop thinking about that and um, put out a, like a feeler post on my personal Instagram. And um, a lot of my homies were like, "Yo, hit me up. You know, I, I, I need the blah blah blah." Like uh, my homie specifically hasn't gotten tattooed since I stopped, and he was like, "Yo, I have ideas and waiting." And uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to build out a new shop, kind of rebuild. Like I used to have a full shop in my mom's house when I was like 17, and then then I worked in a couple shops, and uh, I got decent. But it's time to get like super, super efficient and like really good. And um, as just with technology nowadays, I ordered all new equipment, some really high tech uh, machines, and I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be interesting. Um, I have to brush up. Like obviously, I'm not gonna come back and bang out some. Yeah, some but you gold. going to um, be taking me to baseball. Um, yeah, we're going to baseball right now. So with and then also um, a lot of a lot of new things. I got a. Uh, Got some new cars, modified some new cars. Somehow all my 240s broke. And I got this camera on purpose so I can just quickly film and then put it in my pocket and um, just slaps clips together. Like I struggle with going, like when I do something I always wanna go all out and I wanna f to be like the best at everything. But sometimes, I don't know, sometimes it's just better to keep it simple. Happy with where the brand went and where it is how, how far we've grown, um, quality has improved tremendous. Like it, it was, the, it was really really crazy when I first started. Then I was just started trying new things, and um, with trying new things, you kind of experience um, ups and downs. So I've had, um, I've finally got production back. To, no 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 Lena no 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 no
with production. So yeah, I'll explain later. I'm about to go take her to T-ball and film a little bit, then get home. And then um, I have a lot of work to do because we're about to pre uh, release the Pure Painful Love, Painful Love Collection that comes out this Friday. So yeah, I got a lot of prep work to do. I gotta build this, the website because every time I drop something, I kind of rebuild the website. And then yeah, Doug, hopefully this audio is good. I have no idea what it's gonna be like, but we're trying. That's it. Baseball is done, so T-ball is about the thunderstorm. So, ah, Lena saw the lightning and uh, they canceled it. So, you know what I'm saying? Before the sun drops and starts to rain, broken. The S14 is broken, but we gone did a little something, something here now. We got a little something, something, and then the Civic that I had. It's about to storm. The Civic that I had that was basically bone stock. Long story short, my Pathfinder took a crap on me. Actually, my 240 took a crap on me, and then I was stuck with my Pathfinder. I had issues. And then I was trying to put the suspension on. I snapped the bolt on my lower control arm, which is very, very rare. Um, not rare. Very, very common. But that led me to having no car, so that's why I picked up that SI. But um, this is how the Civic sits now. John is dumb low in the rear it's like tucking pretty much tucking 15s it looks good though uh, it came a long way um, we just came back from a booth event so I still have stuff all in it but um, super happy with how it came out but on the drive over to York I uh, Dawn did uh, I lost me a side skirt there Actually for sale because I need to sell this so I can work on the S13 so I'm working, I gotta wait until I get to the, that sold to work on the S13. And then once that, I'm gonna sell that, once I get, once I sell that S13, once I fix the S13, hopefully we still have some time and it's not winter time because everything takes forever. I am going to start to work on the SI. Um, this, S, this SI got like for a stupid deal. It was uh, 18 with 156 miles on it. It was basically brand new. Now I have almost 3,000. Oh, excuse me. Now I have almost 3,000. But it's stupid clean. And, uh, yeah. It's really, really dope. I put uh, my racing knob on it. Also, I left the racing. I worked there for a little bit. I worked there for six months, but, um, just wasn't a good fit. Um, I really wanted to be selfish and work on my own stuff but I didn't want to do that at his cost or expense. So I politely kind of stepped down, told him that, you know, I, I love things how they used to be and I really just want to um, kind of move forward with life and not affect him and not uh, taint a good relationship we have. So yeah, that's kind of like an update. It's kind of a quick update, but this S13 is having issues with the water pump or head gasket. Uh, I have an overpressurized coolant system and it's not cooling down anything so it's overheating I'm pretty sure it's either the water pump or um, head gasket that's uh, leaking compression into the system I don't know how to explain it but yeah I feel good oh man so yeah so basically I'm kind of I want to reverse time in a sense I used to tattoo for like since I was like 16 17 and I want to get back to it and for multiple reasons, but the main reason is because the passion's there again. And I knew, I told myself that I would never do something unless if I was passionate for it. And kind of why I stopped making videos. Oh, I've been out of focus this whole time. Holla. So that's why I stopped making videos because um, after a while I started to kind of, I always burn myself out like crazy. Like I just do something until, um, until I can't take it anymore. And that's where I was at with videos where I kept trying. And this past year was a real year of, of growth for me. I was trying to figure out what the hell, the hell my life's gonna be about, and I was so confused on 
the hell I was supposed to do? I didn't know what, whether I was supposed to make videos, make clothing, um, work at racing. I was just so confused and um, like I wrote something that like a lot of times we just form, we see something we want to be and we do everything in our power to form ourselves into something we're not and those who know us the best um, always seem to remind us who we really are. So, um, like I wrote this down, it says when you grow you tend to get a little lost because you're trying new things. It's very simple but like this past year was a combination of me trying to grow as a designer, as an artist, as a person and with that comes learning different things and I kept trying to just kind of stretch to new ways and new things and I, or new paths of living or not new areas and I learned a lot and I'm so excited and thankful for everything I learned in the last year but at one point um, once you do everything you can you kind of realize what you want and what, where you want to be and um, I have the tools to now put out good product, um, pretty decent at photography, videos are pr pretty well on them. So I have all these tools and I'm like, all right, maybe I'm supposed to, and I, I don't know still, but maybe all of this is to go in one big circle, get all these tools and all this knowledge to just pretty much end up where I was supposed to be in the first place. And that's creating, because I find that at my happiest, it's just when I'm creating. It's not selling, it's not um, working, it's not necessarily being anywhere. It's just, it, it's purest form is me creating something. And, man, and that's what I wanna do. Whether it's clothing, whether it's videos, I want to do it all and I feel that I'm at a, po a point where I can finally kind of refocus, get my gears back and just bring bring everything back to normal. Um, I was on a good stride and we had a good time and but it's time to time to get back and to um, doing tattoos. I'm building like I said I was, I'm building I'm gonna build a shop. I just ordered a bunch of new equipment which is so exciting I just got like all this crazy new stuff. I got this camera, and this camera is, like, like I said, it's a G7X. I've usually filmed on, oh, and then also, so much happened. Um, so I usually film on my A7 III, which is a ballin' camera, like this is, this does really cool quality, but it's, um, it's pain the lug everywhere, and I, I, I miss a lot of moments by holding this and carrying it, I get frustrated, and, um, with this, I can just throw it in my pocket and film. It's pretty good quality, um, and we just rock. We just go. We film whatever we can, whatever we want, honestly. Because um, to me, it's about creation, not necessarily anything outside of that. Just want to make stuff. So, yeah, a lot of cool stuff happens. A lot of cool and ironic, crazy things. Um, got into like toy designing, got into plush dolls, got into 3D modeling, got into 3D printing. I mean, I've tried so much stuff in the past couple, like year. Like literally right behind you is a 3D printer. I I finally built out uh, my character in you and he's on his way to, to finally, and I literally made this in on my computer, which I got a new computer. Old Faithful gave up on me. Um, we had a long run, but I got a new computer, and um, yeah, but all of that was just set up for something else, and that's why I feel that I need to get back on my horse, start, keep making cool stuff, and just keep moving forward, because I want to do it all, I want, I, I'm, I'm all over the place, but I do want to do it all, I want to make toys, I want to make clothing, I want to tattoo, I want to do everything, I want to create as much as I can, so, what is she, how the heck you boy, you feel me, dog? I feel good, finally. I, I went through, you know, everyone goes through highs, everyone goes through lows, everyone feels lost at times, and and sometimes you just, just gotta do stuff, and um, look at what's making you upset, and what you miss, like, oh, I missed the good old times. All right, what about those good old times you missed? Okay, if you can pinpoint it, do it. Like, I missed, I got to the point where I finally missed tattooing. It took me four years of uh, a break, and then I missed making videos. And um, 
I didn't realize that until recently. So I don't know how frequent, but we're gonna get back on our horse. Holla. I think that's it. There's a lot to show you, but I'm gonna show you over the next couple of weeks. Um, a lot of new stuff, a lot of cool stuff. Did some booth events. We have a new cool line dropping. I was just working on it. But with that, I wanna edit this and get it out and move forward with life. I have, I tried filming videos before and um, I just never edited them. Like I have a video of me working on my S14 and I have a couple of videos I just never edited. And it's just because I felt that I never wrapped them up and I felt like the day just kind of escaped from me. And I was like, well, ending in my studio is always boring. But at this point, like, I'm just doing it for fun. I want to get back to that that original reason why I was doing it, just for fun. So, how at your boy, son. I think we're back. I'm not sure. I want to say we are. Because this camera is really simple to use. It's literally sitting on a... It's sitting on a bottle cap. That's my 3D printer. Those are my toys. Ever since, oh man, ever since LA, it's just been nonstop. And it's still nonstop because we're doing a new clutch and cancer event in, in uh, oh my god, it's not, what is it called? Northeast Drift Co. And uh, so we have a lot of cool things coming up. But I want to document it. I want to get back. Lena's growing up. Lena's older. She's like, her mind is so mature. It's, it's, I want to, I'm trying to shape her as a good person, and it's like, it's cool, like, life's pretty in a cool spot right now. I'm, I'm comfortable with my, you know, workflow, so we're good. It's just so, we're gonna, we're gonna do this thing. I love you guys. I like your boy. Sorry if I ran a little bit more than usual. This studio is a mess because I was just, was prepping for this booth event. Like, both studios are crazy. Um, like, I've just been cut, like... The amount of vinyl I cut to prep for this, the booth was chaos. And then on top of that, um, yeah, the, this used to look really good and clean, but now it's just a mess and trash and clothes and stuff everywhere. I had to get, I had to clean this up because we're about to build another studio in the other room and uh, move forward. The new stuff is cool. Should I show you? Yeah, I'll show you real quick. All right, so this stuff drops Friday. Uh, it's basically, I call it Painful Love Collection. It is the Painful Love Collection. Um, just kind of highlighting just different emotions um, that we all go through, you know? And then I kicked it with a, this is the cool, one of the coolest pieces. Um, I don't know, I just learned how to source things that are overseas that are freaking so cool. Like actually building garments and designing and real, real, um, just real design. And finally, I got to the point where I somewhat figured out production. And that's the hardest thing to do, is how do you get things made? Where do you go? Who do you talk to? And through life experiences, I learned how to talk to, pretty much talk, source vendors overseas, which is really cool, really scary. And uh, yeah, I'm in the process of a bunch of stuff. Got like cool belts made. This is really dope. We got like really, really dope belts made. And yeah, that's all dropping in Friday. So, hello. I mean, we did floral, baseball. We've done a lot. It's so cool. But with that, I love you guys. Holla at your boy, son. Make sure you like this video. Um, yeah, because the, uh, the thing is, your help can control the projector, the trajectory of this channel, and with having with having your support, it'll allow me to do cooler things and give back and just create more. So make sure you like this video and share, like tell someone about it. Tell someone about this channel. Um, we've been doing it for like three years. Has it been three years? No, four years. Yeah, we've done this for four years and. I used to never ever say like, subscribe, but it helps us out. And uh, it means the world to me. Just tell someone about it. And I love you guys. Holla at your boy, son. Hopefully, we'll have some freaking content following. Because so much has changed and we have plenty of updates to go. Like, so, so much content. So, I love you guys. Holla at your boy. Like, I think I'm gonna swap my 
S13 and S14 drivetrain and then build some baller. But with your guys' help, I love you guys so much. Holla at your boy. Go check out the website, unitebecause.com on Friday. Because I'll probably, I have to disable, usually when I'm rebuilding a website, I have to disable it. How, uh, let's start something new. You know what I'm saying? Let's start something new. I don't know what this is. Bye.